Vegans Wait. among vegans. Oh god, it's getting huge. I may be a weirdo, but this is my year, yo. My life may be crazy, my lack of the lazy has led me do shit that I love on the daily. You hear that? Finally, they're starting to work on the roof, but it's super loud, like this morning was so noisy. Anyways, go! <coughs> Good morning, vegan savages. You see that? That is a warrior. That is a warrior. Ready to attack the gym, but I'm still not feeling 100%. My energy is still like... Uh, when I hit up a body, I get mentally insane. So I go to the gym anyways, let's see if I'm strong and if I feel it, if not I just do cardio, seated on the bike and just get a good sweat and write down lyrics. Don't come too close. Why is it <laughs> still kind of sick? Oh, yeah. Why well, are you training then? Good question. Because my energy is not there, but I'm still strong. And I figured I'd rather crush him and chill and recover all day than not train because I'm in a deficit daily. And if I'm not training, my muscles they will just fade away. They think like, yo, use it or lose it. And they're like, hey, if you're not training and you're in a deficit, we go fuck ourselves. So I want to keep them, bro. You feel me? And I started the training, I was like, if I'm weak, then I don't train, then I do cardio, but I'm actually strong, so I'm gonna train. Gonna get through the training and then chill all day. Otherwise, my mental is just like, no, my gains, how can I preserve? I'm actually training, so I feel alright and I'm being savage commented. If your symptoms are only above your shoulders and it is only here like mucus in my nose and my energy is a bit low, then you can train and then you see how you feel and I feel strong, so I go for it. Nice. Would you agree, Dr. Yeah, you Benny? Don't, you don't need your nose to train upper body. <coughs> Fact. Mm, Fact. How are you? Hey, great. Uh, do you miss Melina? Uh, no, how could I? I haven't seen her in like... True, you haven't met her when she was yeah. here. But you were here on Monday. You never brought her. Yeah, when she's back. Soon, super soon, just to... Nice. Oh, no, I, I spotted it that she's coming back. Oopsie. She's coming back on Monday. We're gonna watch the Game Changer premiere on Monday. I'm gonna vlog in the movies. Just like a peek sneak because you're my you're my being savage. Just is it savage. sneak peek or peek sneak? Sneak peek. I always say it wrong. Being savage gods. Forgive me. Cool. What do you think about this headband? Looks cool. Yeah? Yeah. Where did you get it from? Did I you? don't know, I just found it, I put it on, I was like, ha, I look ridiculous. And Melina said, like, no, you look good. And I was like, oh, if you say so, then I keep it on. <laughs> oh, big upper body training, and I'm not gonna lie, I almost didn't go to the gym. But then I asked myself, am I sick or do I just have low energy? And I was like, yo, I feel good, I just have low energy. So I go to the gym and see if I'm strong, that's a good indicator. And I went to the gym and I was freaking strong, and I felt the workout and it was amazing. So I'm so, 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 so happy I went there also did a TikTok there are like always challenges and if you do the challenges on TikTok you're most likely to well not most likely but you have a way bigger chance to pop with the TikTok and there was a dance I was like oh shit I'm not gonna figure that out in that short amount of time so I just fail at the dance what I'm best at just completely failing which you see right here That's that. Feeling amazing. So good. And thanks, Benny, for recording the TikTok. Ah, oh, it's great to have great friends. And now it's time for Christmas. <laughs> Driving home for Christmas. Don't drop your parcels. Don't worry, honey. There's just tea in it and something else. Oh, shit. What was the something else? Oopsie. Uh, something else is just a supplement. So calm down. That's if there's nothing in it that can break, you can treat your packages like that. 
And I got my favorite licorice tea back. You know what, it's this one in my set. And I did some research. And yeah, the supplement, I let you know in a future vlog, we're gonna talk about supplements. I did some research about shaving because I wanna make it a daily routine, establish it to shave daily. If you wanna rock the baby face, that's what you need to do. And the lighting is here kind of weird. Sorry for being distracted. So I did some research when it's the best in the morning, right after waking up, after the gym, or in the evening, what your attention span is gone if I don't show you my apps. All right, all right, I gotcha. So, and there's actually quite a lot of research uh, articles saying the best time to shave is actually in the evening and according to the articles to me it makes so much sense because when I shave for example in the morning or after the gym the day is just getting started I'm exposed to so many pollutants touching my face I touch my face I break a sweat I'm out there I'm rocking it especially in a city all the pollution outside and it's like a little wound when after I shave so if you do it right before you go to bed then your skin can heal no pollutants and just can hear isn't touched by anything besides your soft bed for the next 10 hours or so so I think I'm gonna do that this evening I'm gonna shave see how I like it and then establish this routine in the evening I know I know I put it back to my abs you happy now Jesus Christ Just started a new audiobook, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, and the first half an hour is already amazing what I've learned subconsciously, not subconsciously, no, what I've learned from other informations. Exactly applied what he's preaching. So if you're like, oh, I give too many fucks about things that don't matter and what people think about me and make assumptions what they think, then this book or the audiobook, it's easy to listen to, is for you. I mean, what a hypocrite am I? I just have listened to half an hour, but I like the beginning and friends of mine have read it. So I think it's a good book. I think it's fair enough to say. Breakfast time. If you're wondering why is the color so faded? Because I was, I'm out of frozen. I had a bit of frozen berries left, like 50 grams. So that's why it's a bit faded, but nonetheless, so delicious. <laughs> okay. Just watching some men physiques competition. And I cannot believe I would do that. That just for me looks so ridiculous. So yeah, I don't think I would be passionate about that. I just want to do it for the experience because I'm a goddamn experienced hunter. So let's crush the state and look ridiculous. I mean, that is that is how I feel comfortable. Outside of my element, outside my comfort zone, aka inside my comfort zone. You know what I just did there? <laughs> and if you're wondering, during your shred, how do you cover your vegetables? We see it, you eat tons of fruits, but your veggies, you have some in your vegan savage smoothie, like spinach, this and that, but is it all? No, honey, watch that. I built in daily greens, just raw vegetables. That is what I usually get. Bell pepper, cucumber, cooked beets, which I love so much and are so healthy. So please develop a taste for beets, tomatoes, and just salad, and that tastes so yummy. Plus, oh, I forgot, my carrot, well, you look a bit weird, but yeah, put it in the microwave. It's so sweet. It's amazing. Mmm, sweet and creamy. Ooh. Oh, and I also added a fat sauce, in this case tahini, to just boost the absorption of the phytonutrients like crazy, plus apple cider vinegar, which makes it more tasty and is way more satiating. We are standing in the line. What? Vegans look... Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yes. They said half an hour. Yeah. Well, I just met a vegan savage. He crazy. said, yeah, he was at the gallery. Oh. He said it takes half an hour. Okay. Uh, so do we still go yeah, in? Of yeah, of course. If you're wondering, we're here again at this tentacle psychedelic pirate of the Caribbean style art building where we were in the vlog yesterday up here. And today we go in the other gallery, which was closed yesterday. That's what we do today. Yes. Such tourists! Feels good in Berlin if you just do stuff that also happens in the city, not just stay at home. Which is my, still my favorite thing to do, especially with Melina. You got it? I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I got it. Dun -dun. Yes. Just sent Philip my demo for our new song, because it's always good to get many opinions in. And two hours later, no, it's actually moving super fast. And bro, 
not gonna lie. Deficit is kicking in. You really did feel it. You know, like things I do with ease, like 10,000 steps on our yeah. treadmill. It's like now walking. I don't know. It's like what a task. Like every movement, you think twice about, like just riding your bicycle. So much more yeah, exhausting. I know this Bro, five weeks to go. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the deficit is too big, but yeah, I keep it for a week and then back and forth with my coach, and we will see. You can do like refeed days as well. Yeah, or maybe be not in a, such a big deficit because I already look so shredded. Like I don't know, but I'm feeling good. That's uh, that's a good thing. Oh wait, we're already in. That is the entrance. Uh, wow, that is a cute dog. Hi. <laughs> Yo, that looks so cool. That looks like a haunted house. What is that? I don't know. Under the Bro, can you tell us something about it? It's the future. 2000. Vegan Savage merch available at vegansavage.com. That's Berlin 2030. After the climate change. Oh no. So bad, you know. But isn't Vegans going to stop climate change? I hope so. You have to. Because that's not a bright green future. So let's stop that and let's create a bright green future where we all feel compassion. Wow, 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 wow. That is, that is, let's shoot a movie, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, next movie. Okay. Don't touch it. Don't want to leave my lines, so stay tuned. Watch it. Say it again. Look at this, please, bro. He said it's That's me in the future. Vegans Wait. among vegans. Oh god, it's getting huge. Oh yeah. <laughs> Best shot ever. Philip, be honest. Doesn't that remind you of World of Warcraft Priest? Uh, not really. But no? no? But just imagine. What? Just imagine that, that uh, Joy Lightning is here. It would be so funny. <laughs> Look at this! Do you think my being savages know who he is? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Only my German ones. Whoa. 
What is it? Uh, that's uh, water with a homopathic essence. It's like uh, uh, vanilla. Uh, sorry, that's pepper there and alcohol. No alcohol in there? No. Okay. Okay. What did you just say? The world should be in plastic, so why isn't this in plastic? Yeah. Weird flavored water. It tastes like holy water, but it's so cool. Yo, Berlin. This is totally for free, like what for everyone? Because I choose to live in total abundance. Melina, what are you doing there? Where? There, like to the left. Kidding. Just kidding. Oh, it's too funny. That is so soft, like that is nice. That's soft as merch. Philip just said, imagine going here like when you on tripping. magic mushrooms when you're tripping, like that must be the best. It's open tomorrow, right? Can I try it? So here's the black. Yeah. Bro, that's that's the future. Full of plastic, we like it. Yeah, that's why they give you glass bottles. There's such, there's that is so great. I love that they're showing you like the, the impact what you can have, like the direct impact, and then what you can do about it. Dairy is freaking scary, especially in plastic. That is all dairy. They say, Should I don't you know what I wonder? What? what if they put something in the water that you're like tripping and get yep. the full experience? That would make so much sense. Yeah, but yeah, that would be illegal. So that's the thing. And we made it! Wow, 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 wow. That was honestly so cool. It Unfortunately, so cool. For, unfortunately, it's just for the weekend. Or is it though? Is it just the weekend? Uh, yeah, it's so tomorrow 6 p.m. And then it's over? Yeah. Forever? Uh, it's gonna be in two years uh, again. It will happen in two years again. In two years again? Yeah. And where do they put the stuff? Um, they will recycle it. They will, uh, Okay. Unfortunately, Melina, I would love to come here with you, but she's coming on Monday. That is the vlog. I vlog forever, so I keep it super short. I see you here precisely tomorrow because I upload every single day. Peace. Eat a check, please. Uh, now the water is kicking in. Like, what did they put in there? You what? That, where, where did it fall? Really? Yeah. That fall out? Yes. It's like here? Yeah. You stole the balls. No, all <laughs> art. You stole